The past is gone. The future, you're not there yet. Here is where you are, the present. Why are you bothering yourself to worry about the past? Something that is already gone, something that you will never see it again. And why bothering yourself worrying about future, tomorrow, where you're not there yet? You don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't even know what is gonna be there for you tomorrow. Why bothering yourself worrying about that? And at the same time, losing the focus and not enjoying the present moment right now. Most of us, we're worrying about future. What am I gonna wear tomorrow? What am I gonna eat to tomorrow? What am I gonna do? How my life is gonna be? All these questions, they don't have answer. Why? Because we're not there yet. But here is the hope, here is the good news. Right now is where you are. That's where you have been given. This moment, this time, right now, is what you've been given to enjoy. Is what you've been given to live to the full capacity of your life. To do everything you gotta do to enjoy this moment that God has given you. The past is gone, it's done. That page is already closed. You can use that to improve tomorrow. And again, tomorrow you have no idea how it's gonna be. Why bothering worrying about tomorrow? Why? You know what? I will give you one thing that will give you hope for tomorrow. The thing about time is only applicable for human beings, me and you. But time is not applicable to God. God is not in our timeline. There's no time there in, in the presence of God. There's no time. It's not applicable to Him. So what am I trying to tell you right now that, wow, tomorrow, God is already there. Right now, He's here. So the reason why you should not worry about tomorrow because God is there. He knows everything that's gonna happen. Imagine if all of us renew what's gonna happen tomorrow. How miserable our life will be. How anxious we'll be, depressed we'll be about tomorrow. But you know one thing that God has done is He has hidden tomorrow so we don't really know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And He has given us today, right now. So what am I telling you today is that Right now is where you're supposed to focus. What you're doing right now is what you're supposed to focus. Try to improve yourself right now. I'm not saying that don't write your plans for tomorrow. I mean, I have my vision, my goals for 10 years, 20 years, 25 years later, two years, six months later, the next day, I have those plans and vision. I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to be lazy. I'm not telling you to not plan for your life, but I'm telling you not to worry about tomorrow, not to worry about the future because it's useless. You cannot change anything with your worry. And the Bible says, even by worry, you cannot change even a single hair in your head. You can't change it. You know, you cannot change it. So why bothering yourself worrying? You know, worry creates anxiety and depression so many negative energy and eventually you're not gonna be able to enjoy the life that you have and most dangerous thing that you're not gonna be able to be grateful for today if you're worrying about tomorrow let's learn how to be grateful let's learn how to be satisfied with what we have right now instead of worrying about tomorrow don't bothering yourself worrying about that plan about that but don't worry it's different you know, here in my house, I have one flag. One of my old friends gave it to me. It says, worry less, pray more. It means if you're worrying too much, it's because you're not praying too much. So the only way to get rid of worries is actually just praying. Why? Because believing and trusting in God, knowing that everything is in His hand and He is the controller of the universe and He knows tomorrow, so why should I bother myself worrying about today? Why? About tomorrow? Why? You don't have any reason to worry about that. I'm telling you, your life will be so much simple if you stop worrying. If you stop worrying and you begin to pray, you begin to pray. Worry is going to disappear, fear is going to disappear, anxiety is going to disappear, depression is going to disappear. Sometimes it will come, but because you stop praying, so go back to pray again. Don't worry, everything is going to be alright. We have one saying, Swahili called Hakuna Matata. Don't worry, be happy.
Don't worry. Be happy. You know why? Because when you're worrying, you cannot be happy. The moment you stop worrying, the moment you start enjoying what you've been given right now, and the moment you start to be grateful for what you have right now. Thank you.